To be able to identify his hypoxia symptoms, like I said, it's very important. Um, there's not going to be anybody sitting back there with him, so he definitely is going to need to be able to identify those on his own. Remember, you're talking to an actor. <laughs> Remember what I said about ear troubles? I really felt them in the chamber. Watch what happens to the beaker of water when the altitude simulated in the chamber reaches 60,000 feet. At that height, the air pressure is so low, your normal body temperature of 98.6 degrees will boil your own body's fluids. Things that make you think. But today, well, I feel like I've been here before. As an actor, I'm used to playing parts. The spacesuit certainly brings back memories of roles I'd played. But this is no role. It is about to get very real. I had to test my ability to reach those levers and handles I would have to pull if it became necessary to get out of the U-2 for any reason. There comes a moment when you have to arm your ejection seat. If you have to make an emergency exit, there is an explosive charge that literally blows your entire seat out of the plane with you in it. I was keenly aware that I was sitting on a bomb. Well, there's no turning back. Tomorrow, I will visit a place I have never seen before and will likely never see again. So begins a journey like none other I have ever taken. The traditional salute to the dedicated ground crew that keeps this extraordinary bird flying. <laughs>